lights are down and I gotta go. I'm gonna be late. Where's she at? <sighs> oh, that's the farthest I've ever run. Don't you have two Corvettes? Yes. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you bring your new Z06? I'm in the middle of twin turboing it. Didn't you get it like four days ago? Yeah, sorry it took so long. <laughs> well, do you want to go see something cool? Yeah. Today we are getting a world's exclusive on not only the first all-wheel drive Corvette, but also the first hybrid Corvette has ever produced. Let me introduce to you the 2024 Chevrolet Corvette E-Ray. <laughs> Zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds. This Corvette is powered by an LT2, similar to the engine that's in the Stingray, but it's also hybrid assisted. So the front wheels are powered by an electric motor. So you have 495 horsepower in the rear from the LT2, and then you have 160 horsepower in the front, giving you a combined total of 655 horsepower, all wheel drive. A recorded 10.50 in the quarter mile makes this the quickest Corvette ever produced. <laughs> exactly what I was hoping for and what I was expecting. This is the Z06 body with the Stingray LT2 engine with the E-Ray electric motor in the front to power the front wheel. So this is an E all-wheel drive system. And I think I even have somewhere in a past video, I'm gonna try to find it where I even say, I wish I could take Phoenix, my twin turbo LT2 Stingray and put electric motor in the front to power the front wheels to make it all-wheel drive because it would make it that much faster in the quarter mile. But you know, leave it to GM because they obviously know what they're doing. I'm such a sucker for the low profile wings. I love this. I can't not point out the fact that the Stingray logo on, on the hatch is going to be a little bit different. Um, it's slightly longer and it's also cut out little eyes for it too. Take a look at this logo. It says E-Ray. It's so cool. The chassis of course is very similar to the Z06 but the E-Ray is going to give you some unique differences to make that comfort, that drive, that ride a little bit smoother than the track focused car. But you still have the body of the Z06 which is sick. You still have the width which I love and these 21 by 13 inch wheels in the rear. This is insane. This is a three 45 tire factory. You'll notice this five spoke design, which is super sleek and I love it. The carbon ceramic brakes come standard. The Z06, Z07s come with the FE6 and 7 suspension. This is the five. So the FE5 is a slightly softer suspension, but it also has the mag ride. So it's going to compensate for any irregularities in the road, which we'll see here in a second. The E Ray is the epitome of business in the front with the electric motor and party in the back with the LT2, baby. And remember when I told you that the lower fascia on the bumpers is the same? on the Stingray as it is the Z06. Well, this is a perfect example. This is a Z06 body with the fascia of the Stingray. So it matches perfectly, which makes sense. And it's so cool to see. I would love to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. But today, I'm here to let you know the Hit Mobile Hero Collection RPG played by over 80 million players across the world is about to get some kick-ass new content. New factions, Sylvan Watchers, who are the jungle dwellers east of Teleria, and Raid just rolled out their Champions Elect event. Raid players can now go online and vote for their favorite starter champion and have the opportunity to win in-game and real-life prizes like Amazon gift cards worth up to $1,000. Ever heard of MMA and pro wrestling legend Ronda Rousey? Well, guess what? She's in the game. If you log in a raid and play for seven days between now and February 20th, you can unlock the Ronda Rousey Legendary Champion. And I don't know, Roundhouse Kick the Clan Boss or something. And if you haven't started playing raid yet, click the link in my description or scan QR code here on the screen. You'll get unique bonuses worth $35. We're talking a free epic champion, Jotun. 100k silver, 50 gems, and two epic skill tubs. All of this treasure will be available for you here. Okay, enough gaming. Let's get back to the episode. I think what you guys want to see is under the front. You want to see what it's going to look like. You want to see what that electric motor is going to look like. Let me show you. Psych! You still have front space. The electric motor is going to be behind there. So you're not going to notice it. You still have entire front space. You get in the car. The first thing you see is the E-Ray logo here. But what you guys really want to see is what the dash is going to look like. The dash is a little bit different on this car. Oh, ho, ho. That's so cool. The electric motor. Look at that. 
the engine on the back. You know what's funny? I always try so hard to capture that, and of course, I get it my first try on this. There's a couple new buttons on this car that weren't on any of the others. You have the auto start stop and the charge plus. The charge plus is going to best optimize regen of the battery. So I will fire the E-Ray in just a second so you guys can hear, although it's gonna sound like the Stinger or the LT2. The cool thing is whenever you drive this car, there's like a really cool fighter jet I don't want to call it a whine, but there's like a noise to it that I think is so cool. Shut the door, foot on the brake, and immediately you have this new display. You have stealth mode, which means you, it says right here, use only the electric motor for quiet operation up to 45 miles per hour. And then once you hit 45 miles per hour, it'll transition from being 100% front wheel drive electric motor to using that assisted with the combustion engine. Or shuttle mode which only gives you up to 15 miles per hour of strictly front wheel drive, fully electric. So that's really good if you've winterized your vehicle and you wanna move it around, or also if you just wanna pull up the driveway without waking up the neighbors. But in that case, I would recommend Stealth because shuttle, you're limited at 15 miles per hour and it's not for use on public roads, whereas Stealth, it's a great way to fire the car up. You can drive it out and the second you hit 45 miles per hour, it's gonna switch over into engine power mode assisted with the electric motor in the front. We're gonna start in stealth mode so that you can see. All right, foot on the brake, just like that. We're gonna hit the power mode. <gasps> Nothing, just quiet. And you can drive the car like this. It is so crazy. You guys will see in a second driving this car while it is in stealth mode, but it is so trippy. It feels like you're rolling around in neutral because you kind of are because it's so quiet, but you're driving, it's insane. Here's what the dash display looks like in this sense. And then you also have extra gauges here. So you can see electric output, horsepower. This is how full your, your battery is. And then you have engine output. You can see the horsepower or even the torque of that as well. You have a dyno gauge, which is super cool. God, I love the future. And then you also have extra data. We're in stealth mode. I've been given the green light to pull forward a couple feet, just so you guys can hear this. I'm gonna have two hands on the wheel, seatbelt buckled. Sean's gonna hold the camera. It sounds silly how much I enjoyed that. <laughs> this is like the ultimate like sleeper, but still could have 1500 horsepower tire, probably more with the front battery. <laughs> this is dead silent. Obviously you guys are gonna have to have some kind of noise, right? Yep, we'll have something for regulatory reasons. So right. we're not gonna sneak up on a blind person or something yeah. like that, but for now, early development. Totally yeah. quiet. Oh, this is so trippy. We have police escort on a closed down road here in the middle of the desert. So I'm gonna yeah. step into into a flying start. So if you want to see the dash right here, I do. You copy? <laughs> And then you get the standard dash pop back in after that. Yep, then we're back into your normal tour modes. Yeah. This is so cool. Million dollar question. Oh no. Have you done donuts in this yet? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> I gotta see this. Cause like we pulled up and there was a big puff of smoke in the air and I was like, that's where they are. All right, you good? I'm ready. All right, so we're just gonna do kind of a manual launch right here. Okay. We're sitting at 100 miles right now. What he means by we're sitting at 100 yet, it hasn't hit the 500 mile break and yet it's limited on RPM a little bit, but I didn't even notice. You're only able to rev to four and a half right now? And so what I was actually doing was um, a DPD launch, a manual launch, which actually you have in your Z06. Right. So if I double paddle, let go and hit it again, Yes. Um, you see the gear come up and I can full throttle it and it gets it right to where the sync speed will be for the transmission. Okay. And now when I drop the paddles, you know, this is, this is a normal paddle pull. Yeah. Actually, you can go all the way up and then the, your manual launch. Is it ready? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> oh my god! I'm sucked in my seat right now. Oh my god! Oh, this is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> exactly what the E-Ray motor sounds like to me. And it's the bat pod 
That's Batman's bike in The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> it sounds like a fighter jet. Oh yeah. It sounds like a fighter jet. And you have this like fighter jet display here too. Yep, yeah, you kind of can see everything that's going on and if you want, you can flip over and you can see what we're doing with the power, whether recharging or we're dumping in the power. So right here, Ken is gonna walk us through the perfect example of stealth mode. That is when it is only battery operated, essentially just front wheel drive, yep. um, up to 45 miles per hour. Yeah, so we're gonna go over to stealth and then key up like normal. It's cool that the car's blacked out on it because it's stealth. Yep, so now go to drive, we're just gonna pull away. That's so trippy. God, the future is crazy. <laughs> so you'll see the engine starts sinking right when we hit 45. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for that. Yeah, that was wicked. Oh yeah, it was great. Cool time. driving too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was fun time. Not a bad day in the office. The sun is setting. It's been an incredible day here in the middle of nowhere. I am hugely grateful of the Chevrolet and Corvette team for allowing me to come out here and sharing and documenting this incredible car with you guys. Thank you, Corvette team. You guys have been such supporters in my life and in my career, and I'm eternally grateful. And it's really nice that you guys named your next model Corvette after me. Adding the electric motor on this car was all performance focused. They were really focused on how are you going to be able to accelerate faster out of a corner? How can you have that instant torque? And I love that they officially have finally have after 70 years an all wheel drive Corvette. Not only all wheel drive, but a hybrid Corvette. The future is insane. I love that they're going full tilt with this. They're pulling out all the stops. When I first heard electric Corvette, I got a little nervous, but seeing this, I wanna get one myself. In every way, just to make sense. And it's all wheel drive and it's cool. And there's instant torque and it's fast. And oh my God, those donuts. <laughs> two Corvettes, how many do they expect me to buy? They just keep coming out with this. They have a couple other E-rays here and they have them in the new colors and I hope I can show you guys the new colors that are gonna be coming out. One, which is on the trailer right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a sneak, it's under the cover, but this one's called Sea Wolf Gray. Let's see if before the sun sets, I can get a good photo for you guys. There's just a ladder placed perfectly for me to just give you guys a quick little sneak peek. <gasps> I love it. I love it. It's giving Nardo gray, which is one of my favorite gray colors. Oh man, I like that color a lot. I can't wait to see it just in the sun on a car, but more, more later, more later. There's another color I want to show you guys. Sun may or may not have completely set 20, maybe 30 minutes ago, but I waited, I stayed because I want to show you guys the blue. I could have gone home. I could have said, oh, well, too sad. So here is the new blue. It is called Riptide Blue. And the cars are loading up to head home back to Michigan. 
There is a third and final color, which is not here, or else, of course, I'd show you guys. It's called Cacti Green. They're doing a green. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy this episode. Thank you again, Triple A and the Corvette team. And if you guys don't already, please make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. I appreciate you. I'll see you on the next one. And I should be back in another week or two. Alrighty, crew. We out here. Bye. <laughs> Winnie, what do you think? Overall first impressions on the e-ray. Oh, you got to come over here to tell me? What are you going to tell me? What's up, girl? What's up? You want to whisper it to me? What is it? That. It was that good. <laughs> the e-ray was that good. <laughs>